subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy, and I follow WW, and I'm currently in weight loss mode since uh, late 2023, but really hitting it hard since January. So today I'm just going to do what I eat in a day. It should be fairly simple, um, you know, keeping it simple to stay on track. So let's get started with breakfast. Got to get coffee going, you know that. Uh, Rio was here first. Nice. Okay, let's get started on the iced coffee. And yes, I am the type of person that drinks iced coffee all year round. So Starbucks dark roast. I fill it about three fourths full. And this cup's actually not that big. Like I think total of, with ice it holds maybe like 10 ounces or something. So probably like six ounces. And then about a fourth of a cup to a third of a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. That's just the one I like. And I, sorry, my microwave. I actually use unsweetened vanilla almond milk in everything. Like I use it just like I would regular milk, even though it has the vanilla. You don't really taste it, especially if you cook with it. And then one of my favorite coffee creamers is the Zero Sugar Coconut. I just think it's a really nice flavor. And I use about a tablespoon for zero points. I'll show you my breakfast. I actually prepared it yesterday. It's just potatoes, mushrooms, and two fried eggs. I will say I've never fried eggs and saved them like this. I mean, I highly doubt they stay runny, which is the good part. But that's okay. I prepped it yesterday because I was doing the same breakfast and I had enough ingredients to do two. But I am going to top it today with this turkey bacon. I have never tried this. And it's only one point for two slices. I have tried this. I forgot. Yes, I've 100% tried it. I remember being in like these two containers like this. But anyhow, I'm going to do two pieces of that and pop it right on my prepared breakfast and pop it in the microwave. So there she is. A big bed of mushrooms, two fried eggs, two thirds a cup of the Simply Potatoes, and two strips of turkey bacon. This is only three points and it'll be so yummy. I'm trying to decide if I can eat it in here. It'll be hard, but I don't want to dirty up another bowl to pour it out. Is that bad? <laughs> Coffee is zero points, three points. Great way to start the day. I love mushrooms and eggs. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. For lunch, I just had chicken lettuce wraps that I prepared at home. 99% lean ground chicken with water chestnuts, carrots, mushrooms, and I top it with cabbage, green onions, cilantro, on romaine lettuce and I had some grapes on the side. That sauce is just soy with spicy mustard. Okay friends, I am heading home from work and I totally forgot I was recording. So glad I remembered, but I am having these Drizzalicious birthday cakes. They're actually stale. I bought them for Costco and I just can't eat snacks that quick, but that's okay. I think they're four points. I'm gonna have to scan them to make sure if they're not four points, I'll put it on the screen. And then I'm also having a Lonnie New Peach Energy Drink. Um, it's one point for the can. I'm working out tonight, but it's almost already six and I do not need energy drinks this late. So I'm only gonna have probably about a quarter, maybe a half of that. I'm not gonna allow myself to drink it, all of it by any means or I will really be impacted tonight. Why aren't you getting the ball? Are you tired? <laughs> oh, you cut me up. So I just got home from work and I'm waiting on my husband to finish working out so I can go work out. He has like 25 minutes left and it's already seven o'clock. That's why we get, the day just goes. But anyways, I'm about to fill my egg holder. Um, my husband's coworker gave him uh, fresh eggs from his chickens. And so, if you have fresh eggs, this people may not know this, you actually don't refrigerate them until you wash them and remove the outer membrane, but you just store them at room temp. So, I am going to wash these so they're ready, um, and then I'll move them to the refrigerator. But they stay in my pantry for as long as I need them to. The first time when I got fresh eggs and I was told that, I was like, 
That cannot be like, that just doesn't seem right, right? I was like, I don't want eggs just hanging out in my pantry, but we Googled it and lo and behold, the guy knew what he was talking about. So I'm just gonna wash these off and put them away. Honestly, I don't even know if you have to wash them. Who knows, but we, I, I do, so. They look good though. He has some like, look at these different sizes. Look at this. Can you see how the difference, this one's like palm in my hand. This one's itty bitty, I love it. These are like bantam chickens or something. I don't know. But I just take my little uh, like scrubby, but it's like soft and I just gently wipe them off is kind of what I do. These are pretty clean. Well, some of them, but not all. I'll show you one that looks dirty. Um, like this one. See all that? I wipe all that off. Granted, you don't eat the outside of the eggs. So I don't know if you have to, but I just do. But let me do this and go change and get ready to work out. Luckily, dinner tonight is leftovers, so don't have to worry about cooking dinner. Um, I did film it. I filmed parts of it last night because I wanted to film yesterday, but time got away from me and I didn't have time to film, but I went ahead and like, filmed prepping my breakfast, which y'all saw, and then I filmed prepping my um, dinner as well. So, yeah, like this one's like really dirty. So, try to wipe all that nasty off. Y'all see Rio running up and down the stairs for his ball. He loves playing ball, and typically I don't throw it up the stairs because one time he tried to catch it when it was bouncing and he almost fell down the stairs. But I've learned I can throw it like farther up the stairs and I don't know, I'm just, I was trying to tear, tear him out. It seemed to work though. About after 15 times of that, he took his ball away from me and wouldn't bring it back to me. So, but he's had a little rest and now he's like showing back up with his ball. So I think he's ready to go again. Whereas Asher, I did through his toy like four times and he was done. He was like, no more mom, I've had enough. Asher's not much of a run around play dog. Every once in a while then that's it. So dinner tonight is these Fantastic taco bowls. It has 99% lean ground turkey. There's a little bit of Spanish rice on the bottom, sauteed mushrooms, some corn, a tiny bit of fat-free refried beans, and a little bit of sauteed peppers. And then once that's heated, we're gonna top it with cilantro, avocado, and I have a little fresh made pico de gallo as well. So let me cut away and I'll show you how I made this food yesterday. I have been living for bowls and this is super low points. The only thing I'm counting points for right now would be the rice and avocado. Those beans are zero, corn zero, mushrooms are zero. There is just so much you can do with bowls and build them out to be hearty and not that many points. I told my husband next week, I feel like I just want to do like Sunday prep protein, prep some vegetables, and then all week we just like make bowls around that. Similar to how Nikki Gets Fit does a lot. Used to I didn't like bowls, now I'm living for bowls. So anyways, hopefully he's done here soon so I can go work out. Rio, what you doing? You want mama to go play ball? Where's your ball? And he's off. Where's that? Go find it. So here is the final product. Isn't she so pretty? It was so good last night, so I already know it's gonna be good. The only thing different from last night is I didn't have the mushroom, and I added the mushrooms from my breakfast. I didn't eat that whole bowl this morning. I saved some of the mushrooms and just added them to here. It was way too much mushrooms for the eggs this morning. But um, the reason why I bulked it up with the mushrooms is because last night we had more refried beans but this is so delicious, I promise you. Let's count down the points. It, I used five points of rice, one point of avocado, and one point of sour cream. So this is only a seven point bowl. You definitely could use less rice too, or you can use hearts of palm rice, or you can use um, cauliflower rice. I really like it also, taco bowls with the sweet potato cauliflower rice. Like I think it's Green Giant, but I have the points today, so I'm eating full-fledged rice, and my husband actually thought that the bowl was better with regular rice. We've had it all the other ways and never had it on Spanish-style rice. He thought it added good flavor last night, so we're going to sit down and eat this, and I'll probably definitely have a snack, maybe a protein uh, bar or something. I just finished my workout. It was pretty good. It was 45 minutes, uh, a lot of lifting, but not super heavy weights.
It is shower time. It's so cold in my bedroom right now. Oh, but yeah, it's shower time. Let me just give you a rundown. Sorry about that. Rundown how I did overall today. So I am at 19 points total for the day, which leaves me four left. I'm not going to eat anything else. It's already late. I'm full. There's no reason. But to recap, my breakfast was only three points. Love that. That is one thing about, about breakfast. I need to get better about realizing I don't have to have like a carb. You know, I'm, I always go breakfast sandwich. Well, that adds points. Granted, the low English muffins are only two points. So it's not a ton of points, but a lot of times I eat like the regular English muffin or a, or like small hamburger bed. So usually I'm counting more like three or four for the carb. So I'm trying to have breakfast without having a carb. Save me some points at, right in the morning. I hate spending all my points in the morning. And then, excuse me, my chicken lettuce wraps are only five points. And honestly, I ate a very small portion today, so I probably didn't even eat but four points. Um, the only thing I'm counting points for in those chicken lettuce wraps is the chicken itself. I used one pound of meat, and I'm doing it over four servings. So it's 97% lean, I think is what I used, and it's three points per four ounces. And then I did add some fish sauce and that sort of stuff. So that's where the two extra points comes for five total. And then dinner was seven points, like I said. And then that bag of Drizz Delicious was four points. So 19 points total. Not all at, not bad at all. And then for my activity. So my strict activity today, let's see how many points that earned me. So that earned my strength training earned me four points and then I got two for working out. So I actually had an extra six points today, but I'm not going to eat them. And then the four points left from today will actually carry over since I get 23 points a day and I only ate 19. But my workout, I didn't think it was that hard. And yet it says my heart rate and everything I burned 300 calories so that's not bad at all it was a 46 minute workout though so okay that is it friends good night hope to see you again bye Rio also says good night <laughs> Asher says good night too you say good night Ash